Okay, Mr. Salah. And I'd like to greet you, everyone. I believe that you already know me. Uh, so let's start to go to Adiba. Go to Mr. Dennis. Hello there. Hello, how are you? Well, um, I'm exhausted, actually. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> um, between my schedules, I have to be here and I'm glad to see you. And I think this is my first time, you know, uh, meeting you in this session. And uh, how's everything with you there? I didn't hear okay. you. I didn't. Okay, you can't hear me. So yeah, um, I was asking about uh, how's everything about you there. Everything is all right today. Not bad. That's cool. Okay. Yeah. Let me know you're inside, right? Uh, wait, you're in Indonesia, if I'm not mistaken. I just remember. Yeah, I'm in Indonesia. I'm in Indonesia. Okay. In which yeah. part precisely? Uh, East Java. Uh, Lamagon, East Java. East Java. Lama Where? Lam Lamagon. L Lamagon. Maybe I'm not pronouncing it right. Lamagon? But East Lamagon. L A M A N G O N. Huh? Lamong, eh? Yeah. East Java. <laughs> Nobody heard of it? I can't believe anybody who's in Indonesia never heard of it. No, but you said Lamagon. Wait, what a second. Please pronounce it. I'm going to write it down so I won't make mistake this time. Yeah. L-A? I, I don't know, exactly know how to spell it. <laughs> Okay, in which in which uh, district or region? In which region? Kabupaten. In which Kabupaten? Bab yeah, Babbit Babbit Lamagon. Babbit Lamagon. Aduh, susah banget. Babbit Lamagon tak apa ya? Lamongan. So you know, uh, when I was kid, we were making fun of some cities in english so lemongan we call it uh, i'm living in la where is la lemongan so yeah it's, <laughs> it's hard I, I, yeah i, I okay, cannot speak bahasa i cannot speak bahasa so you're in indonesia what did you I learn don't care. oh no. my god <laughs> no no so how do you communicate with people all around you there do they speak english i only communicate with the people who speak english the rest of them Oh, I don't. Really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, at least you can bring your phone and you can use Google Translator everywhere. Yeah, that's what I do. What okay. I do. Well, thank you, Mr. Dennis. That's the only, yeah. Yeah. I don't live in a big city. If I live in Jakarta, it'd be better. But here, not too many English. Means you move from Jakarta to Lamongan now? I, I, mean, I know. No, no, no. You misunderstood me. If I lived in Jakarta, it would oh, be much better, be. different, yeah. Well, at least you have us here, so you can communicate with us. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but I know well, a lot of people you. from Indonesia speak English very well. Thank you. Maybe not from, my, not from my village, but maybe from other parts of Indonesia. Yeah. Okay, we are learning for that. Like uh, many people in this group. Many people in this group, Miss Yuzi, Miss Yuzi, uh, she always has me in here. And Mr. <clears throat> Tia, Mr. Tia is in here occasionally. And several other people from other countries are in here a lot. Yeah. Okay. But there, Thank you, Mr. But there's a lot of, new, lot of new people here. I don't know everyone here. Yeah. Well, that's okay. Yeah. At least you can know us here. Well, thank you. Yeah. And let's go to Nana. Hello, Nana. I know her. I've seen her before. Yeah. But Hello. she doesn't show her yeah. face. She just has her no no camera. No. <laughs> well, she will show herself soon. So, Nana, what's everything, honey? Um. Yeah, everything is just uh, great here, I guess. <laughs> mm-hmm. I'm just uh, okay. quite busy with my, um, you know, college life and something like that. So I'm afraid okay. I wasn't able to open my camera today due to some circumstances. I'm really sorry about okay. that. Okay. Well, that's okay. At least we have you here. So it's no problem for me. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. okay. 
Well, very good luck for your life, honey, and don't neglect your health. Okay. Of course. Thank you so let's much for to... saying that. So let's go to Ahmad. Hello, Ahmad. Are you there? Yeah. Oh. Okay, so Ahmad, uh, I think this is our first time meeting here. I'm not sure. Yes, I'm a new promoter. Really? You're new one? you new person here? <laughs> really? Okay, yeah. So. I'm a new yeah. 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 Uh, Ahmad, where do you live actually? I'm where do you live? Yes, yeah, I'm, I'm originally from Bujangoro. East Java. That's go? near from mm -hmm. near Lamongan. Yes. <laughs> oh really? So you you you, you, you live close cities. to me. Yeah. You don't live far from me. Well, we oh, we definitely are different. We are definitely different. You are in Lamongan and I'm in Bujangoro. But that's actually yeah. Yeah. Yeah, different this is big. Yeah. big, 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 big area. Yeah. I, Okay, so Ahmad, are you a student or worker or something else? Something else? I mean, <laughs> I'm a jobless. <laughs> I'm a Don't jobless say jobless. Now. You know, we can say that you're an employee yeah. now. Okay. okay. And how old are you? I'm an, um, Maybe I'm an employee now. Sorry? Mm -hmm. And how old are you, Ahmad? I am 26. Actually, I'm 24. doing the college live, but it's actually online, so fully online. So I'm I sorry, say what's that? I am an employee. Uh, I'm a college student, but it's online, uh -huh. so fully online. online college student. And so you're a student. I, I call my name as an employee. Okay, an employee for a job, but you are doing studying now, okay? So there's nothing bad about that. Oh, come on. <laughs> mm -hmm. with education. Going, 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 to, going to college. Okay. So good. Ahmed, um, we have also some boys here. <laughs> uh, we can make friends with them. Okay. Hello, Star Lords. Star Lords. Am I on the Hello, Muji. Mm -hmm. Hello, so, Muji. So good evening. Yeah. So, uh, Star Lords, uh, your your name is so big actually and i'm afraid that uh your shine will get me down so how's everything with you everything is pretty good here and yeah i am feeling i'm free right now that's why i joined this meeting okay so you're free like a flying bird let's say that so are you studying uh yeah i'm studying and working right now Mm, that's cool. Mm -hmm. Working. So, what's your occupation? I am a teacher. Okay. A teacher of? Um, okay. I am a teacher in uh, different three schools. Uh, I teach mm -hmm. in three schools right now. On Islamic <laughs> Senior High School and on Junior mm -hmm. High School and elementary mm -hmm. school but oh, i also nice. study in a university in a university in jimber so i come from jimber agency okay well i hope you can manage your time very well since you are doing lots of things here okay now i hope your day is running well as, as always uh -huh. thank you thank you Lord. you're welcome and let's go to dima Hello, Dima. Dima, have Hello. you got any girlfriend? Uh, my roommate is my classmate. Is my Your roommate? No, you know, the last time, the last time um, we met in this uh, Google Meet session, uh, you are looking for a girlfriend. Ah, so no. how is it? No, 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 unfortunately, no. <laughs> Don't say no. Come on. We told everyone that you are available. <laughs> oh, maybe in the future, I hope uh, um, I'll find it. Uh, I don't know what's that. And, uh, Dima, your voice I'll is too low say. for me. <clears throat> too low? 
Too low. Your voice. For me, I'm not sure with other, but for me, it's too low. Oh my god. Uh, is it better? <laughs> there you see you. Okay. Hello. So, Dima, are you still studying? Oi, hello, hello. Yeah. Are you still studying mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. have you graduated? Uh, yes, I'm still studying. And, uh, mm -hmm. and what semester are you now? Could you repeat, please? In what, semester? In what semester are you now? Mm, I've been training for fasting for three, three months. Uh, and, uh, and there is uh, one month left. Um, only. So in the, in a, one month I, uh, I have practice. Uh, which, I go to my hometown and uh, there uh, mm, I'll have practice, which will last okay. for a um, month also. Well, that's pretty cool. <clears throat> it's, it's for my work. I think I, so. You know, I um, it's mm, very hard, I, it's very tough for me to catch your words, Dima, because I don't know your voice is breaking. But yeah, I'm trying to understand you. So you're in hometown, hometown now. Actually, is it in the vacation or something? Okay. Dima, am I audible to you? There are lots of noise up there. Oh, hello, can, can, can you hear me? Yeah, okay. So, you are in vacation or something? I think you got uh, problem you, by my voice, Dima. You say it's a vac vacation because um, I don't have to work. Actually, my company oh, is. They I here. see. Uh, I, I asked. I asked them to, uh, to to change my uh, in order to change my specialty. <laughs> so in, in the future, I'll have I'll be a, um, uh, a flaw detector or quality quality control. <coughs> quality uh, control. No, I'll check uh, uh, rails on and uh, are we are we defects? Uh, I see. So you are working and also studying at the same time. Yes, I'm. Uh, I, I'm working and studying. Okay. Yes. Well, uh, well done, and I hope that your day is always going good, and uh, yeah, get success. Thank you, Dima, and let's go to. Mr. Salah. Hello, Mr. Salah. Hey, Mr. Salah. I like your clothes. Thank you. Come and take it. <laughs> Thank Where you. are you now? Where I am right now in town. I uh, attended. I was attending an evening ceremony of one of my friends. Ceremony? What kind of ceremony? Yeah, <laughs> Uh, yes. Naming ceremony, naming ceremony means like when somebody has a baby and then we are giving him a name. <coughs> oh, I see. Newborn baby, yeah. new baby born. That's cool. Yeah. No, so no, no, you no. can't do it. Baby. One of my yeah. friends got a baby and they are giving they are giving the baby a name and the name they yeah. name him after him. They name him the the name is Ali Matu. What's the name, Ali? Alimatu, Alimatu. Okay. Well, you know, yeah, um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know there, but here when we have a baby, we normally celebrate it. I don't know there whether you celebrate baby, whether you celebrate it. Here you celebrate when we have baby. Mm -hmm. So, you know, uh, we do that as well. I mean, like for new baby born here, it's our culture. And uh, uh -huh. we gather, uh, we invite our neighbors and relatives, and we share exactly. arms, we share foods, and then we pray exactly. together for the baby. And I hope you know all the best for the baby, for the newborn baby. And God exactly. bless him or her. Oh, Ali, with her. I'm sorry, him. <laughs> exactly. It's, so it's, it's, what we, it's what we normally hear. We do the same thing. We do the same thing. Okay. Well, that's nice. And what about your life now, Mr. Salah? Are you still, you know, doing your business, multiple business? 
I've, <laughs> I've still been in my multiple business. I'm, uh, it's just that I am not teaching, but now I am still uh, doing electronic business, selling mobile phones, selling fridges, uh, yeah. selling uh, plus TVs. Yeah, I'm doing mm -hmm. my business and it's going fine. So how is it going? Is it going good? Yeah, it's going good. Definitely, it's going good. Yeah, Alhamdulillah. And I'd like to ask one question about your clothes. You know the painting there? Is it your uh, kind of a uh, unique or traditional painting for your clothes in your culture? Um, uh, no, this one is a design that I saw. Then I saw it to the tailor. I told him that I love the design. Then he saw it to me. He saw it for me. Mm. Okay. Like what, so, it's a machine. It's, a, it's designed by a machine. By a machine? Yeah, it's a machine. Yes, machine okay. designed this. Yes. Well, I was asking because um, I like it. I mean, like uh, the painting looks unique. So as we Thank also you. have batik here, but we do it by handwriting, something like that. Mm -hmm. So okay, it's okay. like um, our okay. cultural heritage, something like that. Okay, okay Mr. Okay, Salim, okay. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go okay. back to you for the next question and let's start our discussion today. So everyone, we have okay. the topic today. Wait, I don't miss anyone, anyone else, right? Okay, no? Well, let's start it. So we have a topic here and the question comes to what have you seen that people have done to contribute to improving your surrounding environment? So as we know that we are human, we live here in the earth, we need all the things that nature produces, that nature provides us and uh, we should know what to do and how to treat the nature because it's all will come back to us. So what I'm questioning is like, you know, the people all around you, that's the first question. And uh, sometimes they could behave just like unnormally or something like unnormal, like human. And some other, you know, treat nature very wise. And uh, I will ask you as well about what you have done for your nature. I'm not talking about very big or extraordinary things since we are just us. Let's say that. So I hope that you contribute even though very small thing in your daily basis. So I'm hoping and I'm trying to ask you about this question. I want to know about what you can see in your environment. I mean, in your daily life. Okay, so I I think you got my point. Let's go to the oldest and the wisest person here, Mr. Dennis. Mr. Dennis, I believe that you have seen many things, many things based on your age. So please give us your wisdom. You mean, you mean like, uh, like people, places and things? People, places and things I have been, things I have done? yeah well yeah well actually um whenever i bring a topic it's not like you have to answer precisely what i'm asking no but well basically i want to hear your opinion about what you have seen all around you due to how people treat their nature treat their environment in daily basis so i'm not talking about uh the world conference or something like that for mm -hmm. the nature no but i'm asking about small even small things that you can find all around you but it is so meaningful for your nature and your for surrounding well and basically in helping helping people has always been a thing i like doing like like here for example here in indonesia mm -hmm. uh, people want to learn the english language i'm not a teacher I'm just a native native speaker from America, United States. But people want to know more about. Uh, many people say, "Well, are you a teacher?" And said, "No, I'm not. I'm just an ordinary person." Mm -hmm. But I I have seen things. I have been been places, and then uh, helping people has always been a, a good thing for me. 
not only mm-hmm. this, but always uh, somebody needs help. Is always when you do good deeds, always good deeds come back to you. Good deeds yeah. come back. To you. Yeah, that's the when point. Things, when 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 you don't do good things, or or you not nice to someone, usually something negative comes back to you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I've had, I mean, I've had, I have done things for strangers, just like maybe uh, on a cold day, real cold day where I come from, somebody looks like this guy needs a cup of coffee. The guy okay. was angry. He threw the coffee in my face. We literally oh. did that because his agenda was he wanted money from me so he can go buy something he wanted to buy but oh that God. was not what i that's what i not what i saw because i saw somebody shivering or cold because mm-hmm. something warm would be be something good but not something mm-hmm. bad to give the person i would not i never do that never do that mm-hmm. but yeah i've had i've had that come back at me and I've had people thank me, and, and but I've been to uh, walking around or even other places I've been and seeing something beautiful, like uh, different countries I've been to, something I have never seen before, uh, that really, really make me happy. So what and, about the uh, nature? What about the environment, Mr. Dennis? So the what have you seen? The, the environment, uh, I, I always focus on the environment that where mm-hmm. people destroy it, like throw trash or burn. There's one thing about over here or in even in when I was in Vietnam, people burn burn stuff to get rid of something like trash or something like that. That's yeah. pollution. That's very bad. Uh, I come from a country where all that all that activity is illegal. It's illegal mm-hmm. if you get caught burning your trash in your front yard in your house, in your front yard, the police will give you like a $500 fine for, for, for doing that. Here, I hope we also have it here. <laughs> well, yeah, well, <laughs> so, 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 well, over here, uh, one thing, I love Indonesia. I love all the countries I've been, but I never get involved with their uh, yeah. political things because immigration yes. frowns on that. I'm an immigrant from America who lives here legally, but I, I'm not allowed to voice my opinion on the politicians. I cannot do yes. that. I can't, even when I was going to my boarding school, I can when they, especially on Monday, when they sing mm-hmm. the national anthem, I have to, st- I have to step aside, yeah. go, in, go into a room. I cannot, I cannot participate, even sing the song in public. Because if, if somebody takes video and go and it posts it on Twitter, Facebook, TikTok, they'll see my face. I said, why is this person from America singing that and, and raising the flags? And that would that does not look good. I see. Same thing if somebody from yeah, here go to America and it does the same thing, that it would not be permitted. So because uh, that's one thing mm-hmm. I cannot vote here. I cannot vote here. I have no opinion on any of the candidates for president. I think your election, the Indonesian elections next year, <clears throat> I have no opinion because I, 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 I can't vote for them. So, but, uh, but. I know that. Okay, so Mr. Yeah. Dennis, you say that you were happy people and you got a very, very good, um, how to say it? like point that what you give you get back something like that when you do good to people mm-hmm. so you're gonna yeah, get when you do uh, something good uh, good the- thing come back to you it may not be today may not be tomorrow mm-hmm. but something mm-hmm. unexpected good will happen to you i i believe in that okay so i believe in that you were talking about waves 
you were talking about ways where you you know you didn't find like people throw ways on your front well, yard I, and I, what are you doing even, there? i mean in your living i would in your, i in would your living hood i would tell them nicely even in my own country i see somebody toss toss trash on the street where there is mm -hmm. 10 feet away there would be a trash can to throw the garbage instead of walking over there mm -hmm. and throwing in the garbage in the can mm -hmm. they throw it on the street and, 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 and then if you ask them nicely usually always get a negative answer yeah <laughs> so, so, yeah what it's happens? because uh, many many people don't respect the environment it's terrible i mean i've seen it in in uh i saw something on 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 the news about how much garbage they they stifle yeah. out of the Good ocean it, there's enough of, they, on one barge, there's enough of trash in plastic bags, mm -hmm. bottles, that is, is enough to uh, be way, I don't know how, how much. It's yeah. just like it's incredibly amount. amount. And, uh, and uh, if they don't do something about it, I keep on saying that. I've been saying that for 10, 15 years, and, and they still don't want to <laughs> yeah there's so much yeah. to you, you say good things but um there's a thing says money talks if you don't if if, if, if you're going to take something away that makes money even though it's bad they yeah. they will not listen to you yeah especially the the greedy oil people the oil fossil mm -hmm. fuel people and and they're they're a big big money money makers in especially in America and many other countries that if you don't if you don't allow them to do what they want to do, a lot of those people usually give money to presidential campaigns. I will I will not give you any money for for your campaign, and that means Bob they will do something not good. Yeah. Yes, and it happens actually. And you know, um, actually, it's embarrassing. But uh, I have to admit that our people now, even most of our people all around here, yeah, still, it's like they're so uneducated or too lazy or ignorant about their environment. Mm. Well, that's it our. Yeah, our but, yeah. Usually, yeah, it's, it's being some, a lot of it's lazy. Oh, yeah. A lot of it's lazy. Mm -hmm. And I've seen people in my village. Instead of uh, caring for the for the beautiful scenery, they yeah. they rather throw yeah. something not very nice on the ground or in the bush. Or yeah, we have seen it a lot, Mr. Dennis. Not only in your environment. Well, thank it's you, Mr. Everywhere. Dennis. Um, yeah, thank you. So I got your point and about um, oh. the way you treat your environment. Okay, Nana, you got the topic right. Yeah, actually, yeah. honestly, I haven't prepared much um, on this topic because, um, you know, I kind of forgot about the meeting today, okay, but yeah, I'll try okay. to answer the questions. Uh, yeah, it's just a uh, like, simple question, like, um, what have you seen people doing for uh, in environment in your surrounding? And uh, let's hear your opinion about the way, I mean, like, uh, let let's hear about what you're doing as well for your nature for your environment in your daily basis well actually this topic is kind of like related to humanity as well like um it's between us and uh the surrounding of us like the environment of yeah. us around us and um yeah i guess i've seen a lot of people try to take care of the environment by just like um mr danny said um taking care of the ways and try to um, you know kind of like uh, use this cycle cycling or uh, recycling method and yeah that's how we can save the nature as well and um, i guess there's actually a lot of things that uh, we can kind of um relate with this topic i mean like um the environment uh, but i cannot really think of anything right now because yeah it's just well, okay <laughs> 
Okay, that's okay. Well, you were talking about recycling. You know, we have bank sampah here. It's a waste bank here. So, um, do you have that well there in your village? Yeah, we have. Um, we just have like recycling. Um, uh, bin. I guess. How do we call it? Trash mm -hmm. can, like something like that. Mm -hmm. but, yeah, as people, Asian people, I must say, it's not being racist or something like that. But um, yeah, some kind of uh, some people might not just take care of uh, it properly. Like you can see a lot, uh, actually, especially in the places where it's not really important, and it's different from the city. Like a day to care of this mat, uh, this mats uh, properly, while other places like uh, in villages or something like that they don't really um took care of it properly so it's kind of like different it uh, it depends on the people itself to have uh, some kind of like a common sense in them like in, to take care of it or not mm -hmm. <coughs> sorry so <laughs> <coughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, so Nana, you say that um, people do recycling there. And uh, what about you mm -hmm. yourself? How do you treat some your waste, your house okay. litter, something like that? <laughs> well, sometimes I did do that, but sometimes I just uh, put everything together and just throw it away. <laughs> like uh, sometimes, um, maybe it's just me myself. I don't have much time to do that myself, but I will try to do better in the future, of course. Yeah, I think it's very simple, honey. I mean, like you have the trash bins in your house and put, you know, uh, you know, the trash that could be composed, something like that. And also another one for the trash or for the waste that can't be, uh, that can be recycled. Mm -hmm. So I think it's yeah, I find pretty easy. Mm -hmm. You just I need to. It's kind of difficult things. to differentiate all of these things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, people usually put all the things all together well actually it's not good and then they throw away it somewhere something like that but mm -hmm. i always teach my son my family uh, this is uh, the beans for all the things that we can burn because we don't have any recycling uh place or something here or community or something new and it's it will waste more time but i mean no not wasting but it takes more time and another bean is for you know all the ways that even we can go we can throw it back to nature you know all the things that could be uh composed in the in the in the some like few months something like that so yeah that's uh the very small thing like actually we all can do yeah that's a nice thing to do actually we need to teach our uh, children and we can do to uh, do that well even in the world so make it you, you haven't think about that <laughs> yet, yeah <laughs> because you're still single but when you start your family so you have to teach uh you know your family to do the good things just like mr danny said that what you give yeah. you get back all the things good you do will uh, return back to you well thank you nana okay yeah, let's go to ahmad hello ahmad am i audible for you yeah. Where are you? It's a bit tricky questions because many things have been done by people around me, but I, I could conclude there are two things. The first is uh, the type of person that do do protests to mm -hmm. to the environment that's uh, getting worse, and the second type of person is the one who did something directly without any without saying anything and they do the 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 exact things like uh, they do uh, cleaning um, mm -hmm. recycling and some you kind mean of social like, um, workers yes um, mm -hmm. they do it on social media they invite many people mm -hmm. to do the exact actions to to clean for example, like uh, rubbish surrounding in, in uh, beaches, and also and the, the other time, What about the river banks? What about cleaning the river banks? Uh, the river banks. What yeah, about cleaning it, the river it, banks? It, it, I, mean, well, I saw a lot. Mm, uh, because people uh, nowadays they they tend not to be aware of 
mm-hmm. the environment. So mm-hmm. they threw away uh, their rubbish into the river, and it's it's a big problem. But mm-hmm. uh, fortunately, there are people as well that love cleaning it. But it's such a ironic to see everything is messed up and rubbish uh, is, is everywhere. Uh, everywhere we go, we can see it. And mm-hmm. there are two types of people that I could conclude. And uh, about the second question, because I have no power. Since I have no power, so I just do some <laughs> little I'm not thing. hoping you have power like Power Rangers or Superman <laughs> no, or I mean, Batman. I, no. I, I have no name, so I, I'm i just a regular person. I'm an ordinary person. So the only, thing, <laughs> the only thing that I could do, I manage myself not to throw something that comes out of my mm-hmm. daily needs so i keep it mm-hmm. i put it on the waste bring it home? <laughs> yes i, I bring it home. sometimes i uh when that's good when i yeah when i got some snacks i just uh grab the rubbish and put it inside my bag and bring it back everywhere i see the trash can and i, mm-hmm. I do so. And okay. the second, again, I just uh, instruct my family not to do something worse. Yes, I, I, I couldn't. I instruct couldn't. your family? Yeah, Are you married? I, I, oh, no, not no, yet. No, I met my, my family. No, not yet. Uh, sooner, maybe, I mean. <laughs> yeah. Okay, uh, you were talking about keeping your beliefs uh, and then you, you know, like throw it uh, in the correct place so let me ask you one thing uh still uh, i believe you're still living with your family or in your yes. in a hostel with your family okay no, I'm, I'm i'm living with my family okay so um do you have any backyard yes exactly <laughs> and okay. there are you many have goats many what many goats oh goats okay yes. So, uh, goats eat leaves. Goats eat leaves. Okay, <laughs> we call it rambanan. So, yes. <laughs> let me let me know one thing. Your goats eat leaves, and uh, you get the oxygen from the trees. And let me know one thing. Um, did you how how do you feed your goats? I mean, like you cut the trees, or you plant the trees, or you feed them with something else. Oh, oh because because no, it's uh, my my goats are not eating uh, leaves, so they eat grass. So I I, I do I do grassing, and okay, I yes I plant the well. so, I plant the grass so that I I I won't you plant the grass. Yeah, so it's like um, Rebu Gajah? Yes. Okay. Like okay. So yeah, um, I have seen people plant uh, Rebu Gajah for their uh, cattle, something like that. So you do it as well? Yes. Wow, that's incredible. So you are Superman actually? You're no. reciting. You say that you're an employee, but you know, raising goats is not easy. <laughs> <laughs> because it's like uh, you work for them you work for the grass and also one thing that is very good that you plant your own grass no i mean the grass <laughs> and so what about something uh, you plant the grass do you also plant the tree yes i plant but yeah i'm not how, how can i say i'm not a good plant <laughs> <laughs> no, no, just let me know. Did I, you do that? Every time I plant the trees, uh, sooner they will die. I don't know why. Even I okay, so, was yeah, I'm, I'm you know, so actually, the, we, have, the, mm, we have a saying here that anyone who can plant uh, trees, actually, they have green hands. So, uh, but let's say that you can raise uh, the goats and plant the grass so at least you have the green hands for the grass and that's yes. very good 
<laughs> so, well, thank you, Ahmad. Oh, it's thank very you. nice talking with you. So, let's go to Mr. Salah. Salah or Salah? Oh, my God. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Salah. Am I audible yes, for hello. you? Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm here. So, How yeah. are you? Oh, yeah, I'm good. So, we're talking about the environment and what people did and about what you also did. I, I want to know in your perspective. Uh, okay, thank you so much. I, 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 I love this topic. It's a very important topic. Um, uh, each and every one of us, we should ask what we have done for our country, not what the country have done for us. Mm -hmm. Which is very important. Um, uh, I believe each and every one of us, we have, uh, we have something that we need to contribute towards our society. Are you getting me? Yeah, I'm getting you. I'm following you. Okay, I said each and every one of us, we need to we need to see what we contribute to our society, and then the environment that I live, um, uh, I'm seeing positive things that people are doing, but then uh, um, uh, first of all, like I as a, an individual, I believe uh, I need a lot to do so that at least they can follow my footsteps. The environment that I live, we, we started that uh, the environment, like uh, the time we are living, there are people, we are not many in that environment. People, we are not many in that environment. Now, what happened is, the time we came there, there was no light, there was no, ele uh, light, there was no electricity, there was not uh, water, but uh, I, 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 I brought water there and I also Brought, I'm uh, sorry, Mr. Fala. You say that no electricity, no water? Yeah. Maybe yeah, I got no you wrong. No. Yes, no electricity, no water. Oh, where? I mean, in, in your living room, in your neighborhood, something like that? Yeah, my neighborhood, yes. My neighborhood, like, uh, it's a new settlement. Now, when you are living in a new settlement, sometimes so many things you are the one who will do it for yourself. Like, like so many things that you are the one who will do it for yourself because you are not living in the city you want to go and live uh, a little bit far from the city and then government did not uh, bring electricity there they did not bring water but if you have means you can bring water for yourself you can bring uh, electricity for yourself now what i did was first of all is to think how can i bring water for that environment because i was not the only one living there and water is was a problem and then electricity was a problem now what I did was uh, uh, I start, I did a borehole. What you call a borehole is a uh, it's a system whereby you can dig and then get water. You can have a machine and then dig, get a get water, a pure water, and then have a tank. That tank now the water will be going to the tank. When it is full, like the whole environment, there will be getting water from that environment, from that from your source. So now, means that, that you were doing all those things, Mr. Salah, like you dig the the to get the soil water, and then, exactly. uh, mm, so did you did you do that by your own? I mean, like uh, with your neighbors or something like that, so you can uh, no, 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 use no, no, no. it. That one, I did it. that one I did it for myself mm -hmm. uh, because it's expensive. But I did it for myself, and then I asked neighbors now to come and get water from my compound. Now, uh, and now from that from that uh, juncture, now they started also doing what I am doing. Like some people, they are a little bit far from my home. They also ask me, how did I do this? And what is the cost? Immediately I told them the cost for them also. They start getting their own water in their on their own compound, and then asking other people to come and get water from them. Then it means that that you you start something, and people other people will follow. Like what Mr. Dennis said, you will start something. And then other people will copy from you and then you follow. Oh, so it's like you're the trendsetter or something like that. So you are the pioneer exactly. of doing that exactly. thing. So, exactly. oh my exactly. God. Exactly. Oh, that's great exactly. thing. Why didn't they get the idea before? Why didn't they get the idea before you? Um, uh, I got the idea from other neighboring society, uh, from other neighboring villages. I get, the, mm -hmm. I get the idea because I was in the town. I was uh, like renting in the town. 
But mm-hmm. then uh, I realized that for you to have a have a compound, your own compound outside, you need to you need to spend a lot of money. Like you need to yeah. get first of all water, and then to get the water, you need to provide your own water. Then the mm-hmm. surrounding, I, I I saw the way they did it, and also I did the same thing. Mm-hmm. And then when you live in an environment whereby there is water, that electricity people will come now and live in your surrounding, and people will come because water and electricity is very vital in our environment. Mm-hmm. Now immediately wow. I'm done with the water. I immediately I done with the water. I find a solar system. What we call solar system. I got uh-huh. a solar system in my home. I got a solar system in my home. And what I did was is to invite the invite the uh, the my area, the people there. I told them that I don't think government will bring electricity here. What we need to do is to contribute money and get our own electricity from a private sector. Mm. So um, you now you are using the solar system for the electricity. Yes, now I'm using the solar system to get water. Number one. Now I'm using also the solar system to get electricity. But then that electricity is not cannot sustain the whole environment. Can sustain only my home. Mm-hmm. Now because of it can sustain only my home and the other people cannot get it. Now I told them now let us contribute money. And then go and get a private, uh, private uh, electricity. We have private sector that you know that they only deal with electricity. That one is not part of government. Like me, I'm work, I'm working on the electronics. And now I can get some material that you know that I can use it to help my 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 my, my environment. But not everybody can get it because it's a little bit costly. A little bit costly because each panel, each, each panel can cost you hundred dollar. Uh, How much? That, but then each panel, like each panel, can cost you hundred dollar. The panel, yeah. the, what, the what solar panel. Yes, the I, solar I got panel. the solar panel. Mm-hmm. The solar panel well, actually, here, uh, you know, for a public uh, lights on the road, uh, we already use the solar panel here. But okay, exactly. I don't know. I mean, yeah. So, about this idea, so like you can produce your own electricity, you know, using this uh, solar system. So is it, my question is, is it affordable for all people there? No, 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 like, no, no not people, everybody. Not, not everybody. everybody. Not everybody. What about, not everybody. What about these people who, who, who can't afford, who can afford that? What the do they do? Who can, the people who cannot afford now, they will wait for government. They can work, wait for government to provide it for them. I'm sorry, I, I didn't catch you. I said, if you cannot get it, if you cannot afford it, you wait for government to provide it for you, government. Oh, so the government works that way. So how yes. do they make difference? So um, uh, what they get from the government, is it the same, uh, like the same, uh, the same thing that you get, I mean, by uh, affording yourself? I mean, do they get enough from the government? Yeah, they do get enough enough from the government. You know, the government, like for instance, because of me, I can afford. And the, the, mm-hmm. the people are many there now. Many people come there. The government now will need that we need that area. We need the people okay. of that area now. Now they, they need to bring help now. But the time I went there, maybe we were not many people, like we are few. Government did not consider us that much. But for us, we provide everything for ourselves. Now people will come and live around that end. Now when people are many, government now will come and start helping. I see. Well, that's very nice. That's for yeah. the electricity, electricity, and also for the water. But oh, yeah, that's very exactly. nice. Mm-hmm. Well, that's very nice exactly. sharing for you, Mister Sala. And exactly. actually, I'm looking forward for uh, you know to talk more with you somewhere else, uh, talking about okay. this because it yeah sounds interesting. And still, I want to okay. say that I like your clothes. <laughs> I the don't clothes, just like the clothes, it. The clothes. The clothes, I will get it for you, but I don't know how are you going to receive it. But I oh, promise I that if you, if you, but I promise, I promise if you, if you, if you get your own style, I can sew it for you. And uh, I don't know how are you going to get it, whether it's during, uh, it's, oh, it's, it's through, through DHL. I don't know whether it's through DHL. I don't know it's through what, but then if you get your measurement, I can, I can sew it for you and then I send it to you. <laughs> That's so sweet. I really appreciate yeah, that. Yeah. Thank I can do so that. Much. I can do that. I promise that I can do that. When we are done here, you let me know uh, how do you want it, and then I will do it for you freely. I will sew it, and then I will send it to you. 
<laughs> well, thank you so much, Mr. Salah. Well, that's very nice. Yes. Okay, thank, thank you. you. And let's go to another participant. Dima. Thank you. Uh, hello, hello Dima. Hello, Dima. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> so, Dima, let's hear your Could be better. perspective. Mm. I hope you can speak clearly. I mean, like, uh, it's very tough to catch your voice. So, say something, Dima. Uh, is, it, is, it, is it better? Yeah, it's better now. Uh, um, well, you asked me uh, how are you. <laughs> I think could be better actually. <laughs> and uh, what about you? <laughs> how old are you? But how are you? So, Dima, you have heard about what people said, uh, you know, due to their environment and what the people have done all around them. And what about you? What have you seen there with your people? And what have you done as well for your environment? Uh, yes, actually, I <laughs> um, I managed to I, I listen to all of you, and uh, I can say here in Russia we have uh, kind of the same problem problems. Uh, yeah. Majority of people they they are ignorant, but if they they destroy just regular throwing away trash, <laughs> so on in yeah. everywhere. So you have the same problem, like do people there also waste their trash everywhere as they want? Um, it, yes, it's a problem because uh, actually there are quite many people, especially now in our small town. Mm -hmm. but, um, mm. Wait, Dima, where do you live actually? Are you living in a, in a village or in a town? Uh, my hometown is uh, Karasuk. It's uh, it's next to Kazakhstan. Next to so Kazakhstan it's a border. town. It's no, I mean you live in a village or in a town because commonly um, people in village or in in a city uh, they have different character, especially in treating the environment. I, I live in a town. Do you live, uh, and, you live and, in and a town. What about the waste there? I mean, like, do uh, there are people who collect your waste every day and and take it away, or you bring your own waste to uh, somewhere? Um, yes. Um, uh, actually, in in, our, in our town and uh, here also, there are lots of. Uh, trash cans mm -hmm. where people can bring the trash there to mm -hmm. throw there. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and, uh, Do you know? Uh, let's say, let's say it this way. So about your own, your own trash, you bring it somewhere, or there are people who take it for you, who collect it for you, and you just need to pay it per month, something like that, because they will take your your waste to the recycling place, or you treat your own waste by yourself. Um, there's a can next to our home where we mm -hmm. bring our trash, and, uh, and then they Mm. Special services that they, they take uh, the stretch away mm. 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 special places. I think uh, yes, we we pay for it. Okay, mm. so you pay for it. So people will do that for you. I mean, like you don't treat your own waste, right? So there are some people who collect it, and you just need to pay it per month. So you don't need to think about. Uh, you don't need to think more about how to treat your waste. And let me know one thing, Dima. What about the trees? Do you have trees around your house? Uh, yes, Even we have uh, lots of old trees, but uh, firstly, our um, authorities, <laughs> they, they, they try to cut them down. I don't know why. why? But, uh, they, I don't know, they, they plant uh, new different trees. Um, 
Okay. No different trees. You mean they change the old trees? They change the cut. Probably they change uh, trees. Mm -hmm. And have you ever planted your own tree, Dima? Yes, yeah, so I planted. We planted a tree next to a balcony, mm -hmm. our home, and um, mm -hmm. trees or flowers, trees or flowers. Oh, ah, tree, tree. It's um. Okay. Let's see. Uh, it's a. Uh, Kalina berries, or like berry tree. Kalina, okay, it's a big tree. Yeah, it's, it's, it's uh, Russian berries, and uh, yes, it's uh, this plant look like a tree, like a small, small tree, like, mm -hmm. uh, bushes, and uh, okay. yes, we we plant you know, it. You know why tree. I'm asking about the trees? Uh, about uh, do you plant trees, something like that? Because just like Mr. Danish uh, have told us that what you give, you get back. So when you plant trees, means that you will get the oxygen for yourself, the fresh air, the clear oxygen all around your house. So that's why um, sometimes I ask people about this question because that's the awareness about the environment for your daily basis because you enjoy the advantages that you can get from the tree that you have planted by yourself means like you do something for the nature and you get it back as a very good and positive things for your life so dima dima how many flower mm -hmm. how many trees have you planted uh, and but in our garden, lots of trees, maybe uh, 10 approximately different plums, uh, apples, and uh, well, such apples? trees. Especially, uh, you have apples? Apples, uh, plums. Oh and, my uh, god! And, uh, so have you ever harvested the apples? See, you even have apples in your garden. Pears also. No, only, unfortunately, uh, apples only. <laughs> Okay. So apples, apples. Oh, that's nice. I wish to have my own apple tree. 